Welcome to Kalsok National Park. So we made it to the lake house. We're just staying. I can't actually remember what the lake's called that I'm staying on. I think it's Chu Wan. Chu on? Anyway, I'll write it down here because I'm not actually sure what it's called. But basically, we're on the lake in Kausak National Park. We've, so we're staying at Chillax Hostel. It was like a two minute walk to Smiley Tours, which is the tour that we're on right now. Uh, we met them all this morning and then we all had to like check in at this desk and then wait around for a bit, jump on minibus took an hour and a half and that then took us to like a place where all the boats are once we'd got there we had to pay a national park fee which is 220 baht in total per person once we'd done that we all had to hop on this long tail boat for another hour and a half so yeah quite a long journey and then we finally got here after like three hours to the actual national park which is where we are right now i'm going to show you around the bungalow that we're staying in bit of a mess right now but this is the bed and there's another little bed here and um, there's a little fan there because there's no air conditioning and like, everything's all open these things here are all open any insect could just get in there i'm not happy about that but let's try not to think about that and then this this is open and you could just see into the lake hello dan we have got a bathroom which we weren't sure if we we're going to have one but we've got a bathroom <laughs> toilet little shower again all open I didn't even want to look up in case I saw something I didn't want to see, but there's no spiders so far, so that's good. To be fair, I don't think many spiders could get onto the lake because they'd have to swim, wouldn't they? I saw a water one just now. A water spider? Yeah. Do they look scary? It's quite small, but it has like a red body. A red body? That's like a red, that's a red neck, isn't it? Red neck. I meant red back. <laughs> red backs. I'm not sure I like the sound of red backs though. This is Dan. Hello there. So yeah, basically, this is the room, right? And then you just come straight out onto the lake. Right, we're currently on the lake, trying to canoe. I say trying. As in not canoe? Oh, that sounds great, yeah, I'll just chill. Nice one. So I've just sat on the lake, on Chulan Lake. Chulon? I need to learn what that name is. But we're sat on the lake, and Dan's having a great time behind me, canoeing. And I'm just sat having a princess lifestyle, really. I could get used to this. This is quite nice. Are you doing all right? Good job. Mm -hmm. Hey, I think you found a talent there. I found a talent doing absolutely nothing. This is great. I'm having a great time. We've managed to end up about 4,000 miles away from everyone else. Dan's doing a great job back there. I did give it a go, but I wasn't very good at it. This is the scenery that we've got right now. I've had worse scenery. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Cheeky sod. Okay, so we just had a little swim around in the lake and now we're all heading to a sunset from sunset safari apparently we're going to see animals which i think is they said we're going to see animals but in the brochure next to it was a picture of a giant tarantula and i do not want to see it thank you dan can't wait to see tarantulas he's excited <laughs> he's so excited to see the tarantulas <laughs> we can hear everyone leaving so we better go you ready yeah. let's go Good morning. It is really, really nice to wake up and just see that. I mean, look, look what you can see from our window. Pretty cool, right? However, it is not all glamorous. I slept so badly. All we have is this little fan. You can see that little fan there. Sounds powerful. It is not. Anyway, not a good sleep. So hot. Woke up in the night sweating. Slept with um, 
We both slept with these like earplugs. However, what happened is the earplug got lodged in my ear and it's like damaged my ear. I don't know what's happened on the left side, but I, it's really, really painful. So it's not all glamorous when you're backpacking, unfortunately. But then look at the view. So swings and roundabouts. We just went for breakfast, which was basically like scrambled eggs with like onions and tomatoes mixed in, fried rice, did not really want the fried rice in the morning and then like some kind of greens the only thing i will say about staying here is that because like obviously you can shut the curtains but when you've got the curtains open which is nice because then you can see the view everyone walks down this one walkway there's nowhere else to walk like literally all of the houses are on one walkway so when when you we're staying kind of in the middle so everyone just walks past like to and from and like just stirs in the room i just was vlogging i was talking to the camera and these people were just like I'm like looking through the window, I just shut the curtains. I was like, oh my God. But anyways, last night, we all went for like a sunset boat tour to see, basically to look for animals, to look for anything in the jungle. We couldn't see much, but we did see a monitor. We saw two monitor lizards. I'm not sure if you could see on the camera. I'll try and zoom in, but basically the monitor lizards were just swimming around. They're really, really cute actually. They were quite small, they were like babies. And then up in the treetops, we saw like the trees moving quite a lot at one point. So it was obvious there was something there because it was not windy at all. It was completely still, but we couldn't see what it was. So we don't know what was there, but there was definitely something there. So we've checked out of our room and we missed the boat back to the island because there was a boat that was going at like nine o'clock, but we completely missed it. We're still stuck on the island, but that's fine. We're going to have a swim. Dan's going to sunbathe and we're going to have a great time for the next few hours. <laughs> come back from the boat tour that we didn't do today which was basically to go like through a cave we're knackered plus i'm a bit ill just decided not to go in the end but everyone's just come back and we're all having lunch so time to eat i haven't been feeling it lately technology come and help me i just want to feel So yesterday we came back from the one night, two day Chow Lam Lake excursion with Smiley Tours. So tired from like the first day, we didn't realise that Khao Sok, which is where all the hotels are, to get to Khao Sok National Park from Khao Sok, it's not, you can't just like walk there, like it's like an hour and a half minibus and an hour and a half on a long tail boat. We didn't realise that, we didn't realise that we'll be travelling for like three hours on the first day. Um, but anyway, we came back from the tour. And then we went out for some dinner last night and we just had a really, really chilled one. We had like 10 hours sleep. That's how tired we were. Anyway, it's the next day now and we're gonna go and do a random, really last minute excursion, ATV adventure, I think it's called, in Cow Sark. We're basically driving ATVs. I'm not gonna drive them because I will crash. Dan's gonna drive them and I'm gonna sit on the back. But they are picking us up in eight minutes. So we're gonna go. children's size that's great isn't it and Dan said oh yeah you've got a small head because there's not much in it <coughs> <coughs> had a cough about two and a half weeks great oh hello it's helmet oh is that better is it yeah. oh this oh, look. okay I'm having a bit of a mango here yeah. Yeah. 
Hey, I'm ready. Let's do it. I've got my children's hat on. Such a small head. vlog make sure to like and subscribe over here <laughs> and then follow on instagram for pictures and videos over here bye